Okay, I'm doing another live chat today, or live chat, live stream today. Um, this is going to be, I'm working on a wrist mum. So if anybody can join me, that'd be great. It's a last minute thing. I understand if nobody comes on. Okay. See, three people are on now. I'm doing a wrist mum, a purple, white, black, silver wrist mum. She's in the marching band. So I thought I'd just do another live chat, or I keep saying that, a live stream to share with you guys, especially since it's so hard for me to edit videos right now. I just don't have the time. So I'll just do another live stream and let y'all watch this. And if you have any questions or anything, join in. I already started to put the elastic on. This is another ribbon end. It's a really good one too. You can see it's really thick. And it's not, it wasn't glued on, so they just pull apart, and so it doesn't mess it up. I love these. These are really great. Like I said, they're real heavy duty. And then I have this elastic that's silver and white. And she's a senior, and so they wanted silver, and I thought that's going to be perfect. And it's, it's about an inch in width. And I cut this at about six and a half to six and three quarters. And what I did it was I go ahead and attach one side and then I put it on and just kind of guess on how much I need. I make it a little loose at first because after you attach it, it's going to get tighter. And then, you know, I put felt on top of it, so that's going to make it snugger too. So I'd rather have it a little big at first so I can make it tighter. But if you make it too tight, it's gonna, that's going to be bad. You can always make it smaller tighter you can keep adding like backers to it or felt to it to make it tighter okay so just first I just want to glue I've had an issue when I upload these or when the live streams upload then the video is turned and I could never figure out how to change my settings to make it you know because I've got my phone going this way like landscape and so when it uploads overnight it changes it like this and so you're looking at it sideways but I'm noticing that my menu or edits and stuff are all along the bottom this time so hopefully this one will upload correctly It's a learning experience, you guys, just like anything else. So I go ahead and give it three or four staples. Let's see, there's still movement there. It's not too tight. Now, if you're making this for a little girl, I'd suggest making a smaller one and using a smaller flower. But this is for a senior, so you can make them a little bigger. And this flower I'm using, it's a five inch, and you can see it's not real thick, but I want it that way. It's a little too big for the backer, but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take that green part out in the middle. And because this hole is bigger, when I go to pull it through, I'm gonna pull it really, really tight to where it's almost coming through. And then it'll make the flower smaller and tighter. Hi, Amy. Oh, my eyes are a little bit blurry. I've got bad allergies. I think I told you all yesterday, if you watched yesterday. And they're run my eyes are running really bad today, so I'm trying to focus. Uh, Amy says, hi, I've learned so much from watching all your videos. That's so nice. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm, I've helped. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the streamers to this one. Instead of doing three backers, it's kind of a waste. So I'm going to try doing the streamers on the same one. We'll see how that turns out. And then, you know, my front backer for my loops. And I've already cut all those ribbons. I'll push all that to the side. 
I cut all these at five inches. Again, if you're doing a smaller girl, I would suggest doing like four inches or you can even do three inches if it's like a three inch flower. And here's that silver. This Again, this acetate is the one and five sixteenths or if you're looking at it on Amazon, it'll be 1.3 inch. And then this is just some ribbon I found at Christmas. It's a, it's probably about a 7 8 maybe a little bit bigger width. It's very sparkly. I love it. And you just want these even because you don't want to attach them and they'd be all like like that or anything. You want a perfect loop. And you can go ahead and staple if you're afraid it's going to move around on you. And then again, however far you want these to come off, do that. See, it's moving around on me. So you could do it as far back as that. Or you could go closer where it's barely coming off. It's just like depends on how big your flower is and stuff. And actually, I did get that off center. I don't know if you can tell. You really can't tell on the camera, but I can tell. It's overlapping on this side a little bit, so I need to take that out. These staple removers don't work so well on these smaller staples. I have to just, I either use a little pliers or I just kind of get it out a little bit with that and then get my pliers. There we go. Dogs are knocking stuff over. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard to tell how far I need to go because I know I'm going to make that smaller. And I'm just going to center. Somebody asked me what I was doing on one of my videos when I was doing this. Um, so I don't I guess I explained on that video, but I'm just making sure that my loop is going on straight. So I've got this going straight through the center hole and it's going straight through the middle of the loop so I know it's straight on the back of it. If you have any questions about anything to do with making mums, you know, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer it. And uh, you know, once I get caught up some on some mums, I'd like to do some more wreath and you know some bow tutorials and stuff. Is that anything that you guys would like to see? Like I'm talking about like wreath bows and door hanger bows or lantern bows. You know, whatever you want to use them for. I love to make bows, layered and all different styles. So you can go like this and kind of know that it's even with this one. Again, you go like this and you can tell that you're going straight through the middle of the bottom and straight through the middle of the top.
No, I have not made a mum mess yet. <laughs> we actually thought about different ways with, you know, I could do it and, uh, you know, maybe even make a mess that just said homecoming, you know, because I have the heat transfer vinyl and, um, but really I just ran out of time and then nobody really asked about it and... I know some people put some on Etsy and it, I, did, I couldn't tell that anything had sold, so I don't know that there was really anybody interested. Yay! I'm glad you want to see Bows and Reese. I love Bows and Reese. <laughs> Me too. I'd love to have a wreath for just change them out like every month. <laughs> and hair bows. Of course, more hair bows. I haven't done a hair bow tutorial in a while. Unless you count the hair bow mums. Which those are fun to make. love that purple and silver. I'm so glad she wanted silver and not gold. I get tired of purple and gold gold accents. Now this white has like silver polka dots. Yes, they are really similar to the mini mums. Um, I like to attach them using the French barrettes or French clips, whatever you want to call them, using the, the really wide ones. And then, so then I just hot glue the ribbons coming off there. So that's like your streamers. And then, you know, I make uh, like a pinwheel hair bow out of gross grain, or you could use like wired uh, glitter ribbon or something. Um, and then glue that on top of that. I've got a couple of tutorials on it. At least one. I think I have two. They're easy. They're fun. And they were pretty popular on Etsy, too. layered three layers there and I can I'm still gonna go over it with one more thing I got this very thin music notes in the soft satin so I'm gonna glue that on top I only cut two of these because I was thinking I'm gonna do, try to do something else on the last one maybe some silver glitter or purple glitter or something Oops. These soft satins do like move around a little bit on these loops. That's the only issue with using them. I guess you could glue it all the way around if you didn't want it to move around. I usually just glue both ends. I haven't decided after the loops what I'm going to do with it. Maybe some tubing or, you know, and some tinsel or some tool. I like to do all kinds of fun stuff like that with my wrist mums. I'm just checking to see if it looks like it's even. I just eyeball it.
course I'm going opposite of that one, especially if I do something different there. There is a little bit of the white backer showing. I'm just trying to make it get in between, make it even. Cute as that. Miss some purple. There it is. Hi, Ashley. so nice thank you so much uh, I'm trying to read what people write because after uh, the live stream is over the live chats go away and nobody gets to see those and so you only hear the one-sided conversation but Ashley says I love watching you and have learned so much thank you for taking your time to teach show others your talent that is so nice thank you so much I appreciate that I just I know that when I started trying to learn how to make them there wasn't much information out there and people are pretty secretive about what they know a lot of people are not everyone but um so I kind of taught myself how to do a lot of this stuff I just figured it out I just play around with the different braids and stuff until I could do it and so that's probably the reason why I do a lot of things differently than other people because I'm self-taught. But I don't mind sharing with other people. I think you should share your talents with other people and knowledge. I'm not worried about anybody stealing all the business either because I think there's plenty of mum business out there to be had, so. And I have plenty to learn from other people as well, so I like to learn, you know, I like to watch other people's videos, and other people, you know, sometimes people will comment on a video, well, you know, I have this little shortcut, or I, you know, I know if you do it this way, it's a little bit easier, and I, you know, I like hearing that stuff, because I learn from y'all too. I'm going to go ahead and do the flower. That way I know how much space I'm working with there. Like I said, I'm going to take this back off. And these were inexpensive. These were not um, like individual mum flowers. These came on uh, like a bush. You know, like a, a faux flower. You know, you at any craft store you buy like the roses and the fall leaves and all that and they come in a bush well you can find these mum flowers too you can buy you can find some that are really thick as well you just have to look for them and it's a lot cheaper than buying them individually but for things like this you know these ones that are it's one two three four five six it's six layers so it's not very many layers And if you did want it thicker, you could take another one apart and put them together. Thank you, 
you, Ashley. She said that looks so good. I'm guessing you're talking about this and not this. Oh. <laughs> There's a little bit of a delay on uh, the chats coming through. There's also a delay on the video. I mean, I'm watching myself on here. So there's a little bit of a delay on what I'm actually doing and what's on there. It's kind of weird to watch. You see when you take that middle part out how flat it is. I lost my Chanel stem. Okay. So I'm going to pull that tight just like I normally do. And see you don't want it like that. So let's squeeze it. Yeah, exactly, and do it when uh, the uh, when they run them like 40% off or 50% off. Sometimes you can find them even cheaper than that. Ashley's, and I keep forgetting to tell y'all what people are saying. Uh, Ashley said, yes, yeah, she was talking about the backer looking good. And that was a good idea about the bundle of flowers. She was going to have to go to Hobby Lobby now. You see how I made that smaller and tighter? If I was using a regular backer, it would be a little bit more difficult to do this, to pull it through. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. You see how I can pull it through a little bit more. So I'm making it. See how much smaller that is now? And it looks fuller. So there's a nice little trick for you. And of course, I'll put stuff on there, so it matter. I can pull it even tighter than that. So I just want to add a little bit more. You know, my, like I said, the backer showing just a little bit. You could still just do it like this, though. Since I'm using a white backer, it's not very noticeable. I notice it, but probably nobody else would. some purple, silver, I have white too. I'm live streaming. My daughter just came out. Don't want her to embarrass herself. So I'm just making a couple of loops. And I prefer to time off much easier to attach them that way. And you can get this stuff at the Dollar Tree. We're starting to carry more and more of it, more colors, different seasons. center and I don't want it coming out too far. Well, I totally missed it. Or it didn't staple. Alright. Stapler can be difficult sometimes. I do need to go ahead, if I'm going to put something in the middle, go ahead and do that before I get too much. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit of diamond mesh on there. Uh, oh, they have it. Well, I got the pretty flowers right here. Yeah. 
think I'll glue some of that on there. That'd be pretty. Oh, oh sorry, I missed Ashley that you wrote again. I was watching your tutorial on the deco mesh tubing with the pipe cleaners making the heart chain. How do you get the ends of the mesh not to fray out? <laughs> yeah, good question. Um, you really can't. I mean, I try to go over the pipe cleaner, like when I'm curling it, especially if I'm making the little spirally ones. Um, but it still frays. What I do is, is I just cut them off and try to keep it, you know, as clean as possible. If you can put a little bit of hot glue, if it's not going to show, that's one of the reasons why I also put little bows where they're connected and like, you know, met, you know, this diamond mesh and stuff that helps cover all that off. But I do like, after I attach one to a mom, I usually have to go through and trim all that off. I just did one. Oh, that um, 24 inch mom that I've done two videos on, and there's still one more that I'm editing. I did one of those. Uh, I gave her the spirally one, and since it had been in my tub for a year, I had it really was frayed at the end, so I had to really trim it off. But it looked good after I trimmed everything off. But you're still going to have a little bit of fraying, you can't help that. broken so I have to cut that one off. I'm gonna go right above the staple because you know if I go way down here it's not gonna be seen. And see that one's broken just a little bit. I have to be careful but once I hot glue it it'll it'll be okay if I can get it all hot glued down it won't show and it won't fall apart. And then I'm going to go just to there because there's no sense in going that far. So that's five. One too many. You're welcome, Ashley. One of the things about working with anything that's deco mesh, you're going to have fraying. I think I said that this is going to be for a senior. She doesn't live in Texas anymore, but they wanted to do a Texas tradition for her for her senior year, so I want to make sure it's, you know, really special and pretty. Um, I cannot read what your name is. I told you my eyes are a little bit blurry because of they're watering so bad. I'm sorry. Um, where did you get your glue gun? I really like the skinny tip on it. I do too. My husband actually found these on clearance at Walmart. He got me two of them. And it had a regular tip and then the skinny tip too. I forgot what they called that. Um, but it's an AdTech Pro 80 high temp. And once I started using this one, I stopped using all the others. I thought, well, I'll really like it for attaching stuff like this, but I really like it for everything. I haven't put it up. It's been on my table since I started using it. Actually, I have the other one. I'll show you. If I can get it. Here it is. 
We got it for four dollars. So he went ahead and got both of them for me because he knew I'd use them. It, uh, bonus includes standard and detail extension nozzle. So that's what it looks like. That was a lucky buy. You're very welcome. Okay, so now I'm going to do some more tubing. also have this white iridescent and this is from the Dollar Tree. I think they're going to be carrying this color and then like pastel colors year round. So look for this. This is awesome. You could use this with any color. Thank you Ashley. Now to match these up I just hold it to the other ones and go like that. Yes it's about the same. They're not going to be identical but the best way. And that is about six inches. I don't measure a lot of things, so I have to get used to trying to measure things for y'all. Go ahead and hot glue on those too. Just because they're kind of thick and bulky, I want to make sure that they're on there good. So I usually wait till I'm done and then let it sit. So, you know, I think I have some really pretty purple tool. Let me look that I've never got to use, which may be wrong. Let me look. lime green, red, silver, orange, hot pink, yellow, purple. Look at that. That was from Michael's, I think, a year or two ago. I got that at Halloween. Isn't that pretty? And I love that it's a deep, rich purple. looking for the glue gun. I'm pretty sure I saw AdTech glue guns on Amazon. So pretty, and he says. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to cut about 15 inches, 14, 15 inches. Sounds good. This is another thing I really don't measure. gathering it like you would mesh making a ruffle that's basically all I'm doing is ruffling it just like you would a uh, deco mesh for a ruffle wreath so you can just staple it like right there like that which is what I'm gonna do a 
another couple of staples. How fun is that? trying to figure out what else I want to do. I don't really go in with a game plan. Just kind of see where it leads me usually. I think I'll do another over here. And then maybe a little bit of tinsel. I do love the tinsel. I'm sure you guys know that from watching my videos. It's a good inexpensive way to add sparkle. And I'm all about sparkle. And inexpensive. See, I did it between those two, so I'm going to do it between these two. You don't have to match it up. Put it wherever you want. And when I put the flower on, I kind of have to move them over. But I think I just want to put a little bit of tinsel there and there. Add a little bit more silver. Hopefully she'll love it. Cut that in half. That's about four inches long. So I just fold it over. Kind of twist it so it goes all different ways. This one's got thin and thick pieces in it. I really like that. Because I have some that are like all thick and then some that are all thin and I, I like to mix them together and then I found this one and it's perfect. Of course, half of this is going to get covered up by the flower, but that's okay. I've learned you really got to give them a twist to get it really looking 3D-ish. Do you guys want to see that bee? Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the live stream yesterday. All I had left to do on the girls was cut out the bee for the flower, and I did that. And she's going to be picking that up soon. So let me show that to y'all in case you want to see it. It's a funky, fat bee. I did a... Uh, black it's a black and kind of a grayish polka dot glitter and then this one's white so I thought it was just fun nice fat little fun turned out super cute Ashley said yes she wants to see <laughs> good I'm glad y'all didn't say no because I showed it to you anyway I don't think I did anything else to the boys that uh, you guys didn't see. I'm going to go ahead and attach the flower so you guys can see that. Lucy is coming to say hi. I don't know if you guys have seen her on past videos. She always likes to come say hi. And she got shaved recently. Let you guys see her. Lucy, right here. Sorry for the wiggling. She gets tired of me being at the craft table for too long and she comes to say hi to me. Yes, hello baby. <laughs> Very 
There you go. <laughs> Look at that sweet face. Can't say no to it. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. I hate that. Okay, again, I'm going to pull this tight. Actually, I'm going to glue it first because I have that problem where it goes over too far. Not a lot of room to glue here. I'm just going to hold that down. I want to make sure it stays where I want it to. My glue's oozing out. i got to be careful there. Ow, good grief. That was hot. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. Now. I just leave a little bit so I can fold it over. Makes me feel like it's a little bit more secure. sparkly that is or not. I don't think it's coming through as much as it is. Very glittery. Perfection. Thank you, Amy. It's really pretty. I think this one's going to turn out to be one of my favorites. Okay, I'll start on the streamers. I don't know if I'm going to finish be able to finish with the live stream or not before my family gets home, but I'll try to get as much done as I can. I cut these at nine inches if I didn't say that already. That's for a senior. You can make them a little bit longer. You can make it shorter. I think you can go about... You just want to make sure that it's long enough to hang off, like drape down a little bit, but you don't have to make them that long. I've made some much shorter than this. And then of course you can make it without streamers at all. I'll go ahead and overlap a couple. Actually, I'll do purple and then black. I'm going to have to be careful and not staple that down. So I have some silver I'm going to use. If I can find my end. Just, you know, like a regular mom doing the, the ribbons. Overlapping them, making them kind of go this way. You can cut the ends however you want. Go like a little bit shorter each one. And that purple is going to be my middle one, so I'm going to cut it like this. So it's like that. I 
just cut a few streamers for first. I didn't know how many I was going to need or what I was going to do. It's really covering up the purple, but that's okay. Just want to overlap them. Try to make a match on both sides. It's not always possible, but as much as I can. she's wearing it, it might show a little bit. Maybe purple again, and then I think I'll do silver. And that band's going to get in my way just a little bit. saving me one backer. And you can take the ends, put them back to back, and cut them, let's see, I think it's this direction. Yep. It's like that, but that one's longer. <laughs> Just like some of the other mums, I'm going to go shorter as I go up. And I've got to put her name and I want to put Senior 2021 on there as well. So i got to make sure I make a space for that. you could go ahead and mix and match and go like you don't have to cut all the ribbons all the same at the end see I can go like that make it a little different the same as possible. Cut that one shorter because I knew I wasn't going to need as much. Okay, so I'm going to go back to cutting them like that. See, that's way too much. braids on these before like soft satin braids and you just want something that's gonna be able to you know like fold over and hang like that you don't want something like if you did a whip braid it would just stand straight out because they don't bend naturally so you just want to make sure it's something that's gonna flow naturally with the ribbons I think 
that's wide enough. Don't want to get carried away. Almost match up. You guys have no idea what I just did. Does anybody catch that? Look what I did. I don't want it that way. I want it this way. <laughs> How many times do I say when you're attaching wrist mum, it goes north and south? So I'm just gonna have to take I'm gonna have to do another backer. That's what screwed me up, is because I thought, oh, I'll just do them all on the same one. Yeah, if this was a little garter, it would be perfection, but it's not. Oh no, yeah, I've done this before. It's not the first time. Not a big deal. So putting them all on the same back was a bad idea. <laughs> see. I couldn't figure out why hadn't I never thought of doing that before. Now I know why. Because it wouldn't work. I'd have to attach it down here. I don't know if that would work or not. I can try it. Let's see if I can pull that off without tearing it completely because I did hot glue it too. See, I make mistakes. I keep telling you guys, I make mistakes all the time. Good thing these are thick too, because that didn't affect that very much. If you had to, you could just cut this off, you know, here and here. If it wouldn't come off as easy as that one did, you could just cut it off and start over. Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh, well, I think that's gonna work. It's a little fat right there, but I don't think that's gonna affect it at all. Nope, that's still gonna work. Just wanna put it in the middle of that purple. And then I'm gonna glue up in there. Let that dry. Oh, I didn't get it straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it pretty straight. There, now that will work. <laughs> so that was not as big of a deal as I thought it was. It was an easy fix. in there with the stapler is not going to be fun. Okay. Got a couple staples in there. That's good. All right. Now, I got to be careful. Yeah, see, it's still a little bit loose, but it's tight enough where it's staying still. And then once I add the felt, that's going to tighten it up some. It's difficult when you're making things like this for people and you don't know how big or small their wrists or arms are and you don't know how big to, to make them. I actually, on some of these little peewee garters where I'm using small elastic, you know, going across, I'm actually doing two pieces and making one a little bigger than the other. So, all right guys, my family is about to come home, so I'm going to have to end this and... Maybe I can do a short video to finish it up so you guys can watch it later. Thanks so much for joining in. I appreciate y'all. Bye.